Is it recording? Happy Gemmas! Hello, hello everyone. Welcome back. We're making chocolate chip cookies today. So of course everyone knows there's nothing better than a chocolate chip cookie for Christmas and they're surprisingly really easy to make. So I'm gonna show you how. Okay, let's start off on the things you will need. So you're gonna need a half a cup of granulated sugar, three fourths of a cup of brown sugar, half a teaspoon of salt, half a teaspoon of baking soda, one and a half cups of flour, one whole stick of softened butter, and make sure it's at room temperature, an egg, a splash of vanilla, and a whole cup of chocolate chips. So I actually like to use a mixture of little small chocolate chips, but I also love uh, just normal chocolate chips. So, and I'm using semi-sweet. You can also use a mixture of dark, milk, whatever type of chocolate you would like. You can even use white chocolate, but of course, these are normal chocolate chip cookies, so we're not gonna do that. <laughs> and the materials you'll need today are actually very simple. There's not many of them. You'll need a baking sheet lined with either parchment, or today I'm actually using Teflon. This is a, uh, a baking safe type of material. I use this a lot for my macaroons, but I'm also going to use it for my cookies today. You'll also need a rubber spatula to scrape down the sides of a bowl. A ice cream scoop. This is also a really great way to measure out cookies. And then we'll need a KitchenAid. So I'm using a stand mixer today just because it's really easy, but of course you can do this by hand. It's actually very easy to do it both ways. I'm just going to use the mixer today just because it's a little easier on my arms. And yeah, let's get started. Okay, so I have my stand mixer here and I have it fitted with a paddle attachment. And if also, if you're doing this just by hand, that's completely fine. Just take a metal bowl, you can use a rubber spatula, a wooden spoon, either one of those work. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take our softened butter and we're just gonna add that straight into the bowl. And then we're gonna cream it with the two sugars. I'm just gonna start it on the slowest speed until it goes, because we don't want it to like, Splash out everywhere it is sugar it doesn't do this much but and just let it mix until it is all perfectly smooth and even and you can even stop it and scrape it down with the rubber spatula if you need to but uh, we'll see if we need to all right so now as you guys can see it is all super smooth and even I'm just gonna take the paddle attachment off and just really scrape everything off and as you guys can see, it is just so perfectly smooth. We're gonna add the egg and vanilla. So I already added the egg and vanilla in a uh, measuring cup. And this is just so it can just pour in really easily instead of like trying to crack the egg in. Because what I like to do is I will put the mixer back on at the lowest speed and add the egg and vanilla in while it's still mixing. Now we're gonna add the flour. So very important, I always say this with most batters, but it's just really true. For desserts, if you're not making bread, you don't wanna beat the dough, because then the gluten will develop too much and it'll just become rock solid. You want a soft, chewy cookie. So in this bowl, I have the uh, salt, the baking soda, and the flour, and we're just gonna add this all straight into the bowl. Okay, make sure all that's in there. Once it gets to this, you can see there's still a little bit of flour on the sides. I'm just gonna give this a little scrape down. And then now, we're gonna add our chocolate chips. If you wanna jazz it up, you can always add some nuts, you can add M&Ms, but I'm just making the traditional chocolate chip cookie today. You can always put whatever mix-ins you would like. And now we're gonna do it on very slow. Um, if you're doing this by hand, it's great because you won't crush any of the chocolate chips. I don't mind when some of the pieces are a little bit crushed because I feel like it just adds to it, but yeah, just make sure you do it on slow, not too long. Okay, beautiful. Of course, again, we're gonna scrape it all down. Okay, so now it's time to take your batter and to put it onto the baking sheets. So I forgot to actually say this before, but I love to top every cookie mound before it goes in the oven with extra chocolate chips, just to make it look pretty. Because yes, there are plenty of chocolate chips mixed in this mixture. I always love just for presentations to just have like perfect chocolate chips just on top. So this is very optional, but just collect some extra chocolate chips. There's no real measurement. Just do whatever what looks good to you. So we have our cookie sheet and we have the dough. We're just gonna scoop a nice, cookie scoop. I like to actually put in my hand and fix it a little bit. 
and then I squish it down just a tiny bit. So these cookies are gonna turn out to be like those giant ones that you see at those bakeries sometimes. With these giant ones, you can get like, I don't know, a good six to eight cookies. But if you're gonna do like the smaller ones, you can get a good dozen to like 15. Okay, so we have all our giant ones and now I'm gonna put the little chocolate chips on top. And you know, even if it's not Christmas time, I mean it is, but even when it's not, chocolate chip cookies are just great. Can't go wrong with them. Okay, so for the big cookies, we're gonna pop these in for about 20 minutes, but the little ones, I'm only gonna pop in for like 10. Just make sure you keep an eye on them. So one of my biggest tips is when you take out the cookie, sometimes they might look like they're not done or they might look kind of puffy, but that's because when you let them cool out and let them set, they're gonna like lower down and then become more of like a chewy texture but in the beginning it's not going to look like that and it's also not going to look fully cooked but as it sits out and it cools down it's actually going to harden up and become more of like a cookie cookie so just keep that in mind okay so obviously i'm not perfect i'm never going to be perfect but I made a mistake. When I was making this recipe, I split in half because in my cookbook, I made it so that it's like a huge quantity and I didn't want that for you guys. So I split it in half and I looked at the wrong measurement. I was looking at the full one instead of the new one that I did. And I did by accident a little bit more flour than I should have. So I don't state the quantities in the video, but in the description below, just know that that is the correct quantity. But when I took the cookies out, I realized that they look way more cakey than they should have. And I was like, oh my gosh, I put way too much flour. So don't be alarmed. These are still a very good chewy cookie recipe. They will come out chewy, not cakey or fluffy, I promise. I really like a nice chewy um, cookie that is more like flat almost. So just keep in mind that that is what they are, but I made a mistake and I didn't want to refilm this, so what can we do? Yeah. Okay, let's get back. <laughs> okay, so the cookies are nice and cooled down now and I just want to show you them up close. Like I said before, the texture is a little bit different than what I usually go for because of the extra flour that I did, but if you do the normal recipe that I will leave down below, they will turn out a lot less cakey, but for those of you who like that, uh, I guess this is a, a good thing. Okay, so here is one of the big cookies right here. I don't know why I decided to pause with the cookie like that, but just look at my face. <laughs> okay, so here's the cookie. <laughs> As you guys can see, I don't know if you guys can see it. Okay, perfect. So now we're just gonna tear right into it. Yeah, we love an unfocused shot. If you guys can't tell now, I'm clearly a professional. So here is the inside. You guys can see it is a little cakier, but let me tell you guys, the flavor is still fully there. It's so good. And yeah, that's it. I will see you guys in the next video. I hope you guys are still enjoying my little Christmas special that I've been doing. And yeah, goodbye everyone.